First at 4.30, a big boost for the depleted ranks of Hawaii teachers as the state welcomed 80 experienced teachers from the Philippines. Dara Huff explains why the Department of Education believes they will adjust well here in the islands. Daryl. Ash, the DOE says it's going to begin the school year with about 300 teacher vacancies. So the 80 teachers welcomed from the Philippines today is significant, and the department says it's not worried about either cultural or language issues with this group. Thank you so much for being here. To get here, these teachers had to compete for a J-1 visa. Their credentials screened by an international evaluations company, and most have advanced degrees equal to U.S. universities and classroom experience teaching in English. So we really have the best of the best coming to work for us, which is really amazing for our students. To overcome the shortage of housing for teachers, they'll mostly be staying in private homes. Everyone in Hawaii has opened their doors to help house these 80 teachers. They now hope to be equally welcomed in classrooms and were warned today that they won't have the same management tools as they did in the Philippines, like physical punishment. I was a teacher in the Philippines too, and our ways there were very different from the ways of disciplining students here. Here you can still be very firm, but really loving and kind and always smiling. Well, honestly speaking, I'm intimidated. <laughs> you know, we do corporate punishment. We can discipline them verbally like that. In, uh, in America, you need to adapt, okay? And by adapting, you can also learn uh, from them. These two teachers are heading for Kauai's chiefest Kamakahele Middle School and are looking forward to adapting to curriculum and kids and cultures different from home. We are family here, and that's the culture that I would like to inculcate with different students and with the culture or with the school that I will be teaching to. As I was in the plane yes, uh, the other day, I can see a lot of Asian people and then I, I, I told myself, okay, you can do it. If they can do it, this Asian, this Asian, just like me, then I can also do it. And for DOE, their success is important, both to address a chronic teaching shortage with international teachers and for the kids, especially from immigrant families. Wow, that teacher looks like me. That teacher knows what my family is going through, my community is, um, and that's powerful for our students. The J-1 visa program offers up to five years of work as a teacher in the U.S. and an opportunity to seek immigrant status, and the DOE says it expects their number in Hawaii could grow into the hundreds. Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now. Thank you.